Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. Today we're diving into an essential resource list that every indie developer and game creator needs, free assets. Whether you're building a low poly masterpiece, a stylized world, or an epic 2D adventure, I've got the top 14 places where you can find free amazing assets to help supercharge your game development journey. Now coming up in number one is Sinti. I absolutely love these graphics. And over here, you'll see quite a few price tags, but if you scroll all the way down, they do have a free asset section. And this free asset section comes with quite a few things, um, such as holiday themed events, free pride weapons, facial features, flags, even some quad bikes, airplanes, water guns, and a whole starter pack for you to start developing your game journey in. And you can get started simply by just grabbing this Polygon starter pack. And it comes with a ton of assets already inside of all different types. There's coins, targets, crates, and just, just a bunch that you can really turn into a game. Next up is Poly.Pizza. And all the links of these will be in the description below. So Poly.Pizza offers a wide range of free assets and free 3D models. So for example, if you just scroll down, they're already advertising all their free stuff. And they're even offering a free city pack for turning three now. And there's a really wide variety of 3D assets that you can grab from here. There are platform kits, environments, animals, food kits, nature kits, and so on. And yeah, feel free to check these out at Poly.Pizza. Next up is itch.io. So you can just go to, over to this dropdown and select game assets and you'll see a ton of different game assets from these cute tiny RPG pixels over to these amazing 3D models by KKit. And there's just a ton of variety on itch.io. This is really the main hub for people to come and develop their, their projects. And the best part is it's free and, and probably one of the best sites that we'll be going over in this video. And wow, yeah, these look amazing. I absolutely love this style. Next up is Kenny.nl. And from the homepage, I can just head over to the get free assets, literally the first thing, and we can see a bunch of different types. So there are a bunch of prototype pack, UI packs, platformer packs, and so on. And you'll see that there are a ton of pages to go through like so, and you can search also for what kind of genre you're looking for. So for example, if I wanted to have some sort of survival game, like a low poly survival, and there are cute castles, and these are all modular pieces, so you can mix and match however you'd like them to. Next up is Open Game Art. It's not the prettiest website, but you can browse through these sites, music, sound effects, and just a bunch. And you can head over on these links and you'll see that there are a ton of different varieties. So this is actually reminding me of a game called Vermintide where you go around hunting rats. And they even have some of Kenny's stuff on this, of course, because it's free for everyone to use commercially. And yeah, there are just a ton of variety that you can search for on these sites. And the best part is they're all free. If you want to step up your 2D game using 2D assets, you can head over to craftpix.net. They offer free 2D game assets and it even has animations on it for free. They come with backgrounds, characters, icons, and much more. And don't worry, these are all these are usable in Unity, Unreal Engine, Godot, and all the popular game engines. And if you're looking for a different variety, you can head over to GameArt 2D. So GameArt 2D also has some unique card templates that are pretty hard to find nowadays. So if you're looking to make something that is card-based, kind of like Hearthstone, they actually come with these Adobe Illustrator files that can also help you make your own cards and your own variety of characters. They also come with a ton of character sprites, tile sets, UI, and much more. Another popular one is TurboSquid with thousands of models to offer. And you can just set the price to zero and click apply to look for free ones. And there are going to be some ads. And these ones may have some pretty high quality assets too that you can search around. And they even have an AI 3D generator that you can sign up to use and generate your own models. Next up is Polyhaven. I actually love this website. So they have a ton of HDRIs, textures, and models. So for this video, I'll be going over some of the models and they do have some really high quality looking assets. And on the left here, you can, you can filter them through props, furniture, electric, nature, tools, lighting, and so on. And they do look pretty <laughs> realistic and you can even get a 3D view of them too. <laughs> Another website that I follow is called Quaternius.com. Quaternius showcases a lot of assets that are on itch.io. Specifically, the one that I'm going to be showcasing on my channel pretty soon is going to be this stylized nature asset. And I absolutely love how this looks. They also come with these pirate models, character models, sushi restaurant models, and stuff that you've probably seen if you've been following a lot of gaming tutorials. This RTS one actually looks really good. I'm going to have to download it. And one of the earliest ones that I've ever found out, thanks to Brackies, is dev assets. So these models are completely free for you to use, both non-commercially and commercially. And let's go over these. So for example, you can Get these rpg assets that come with a great ui a little model and a tiny map and so on and even these hyper realistic sci-fi weapons that look absolutely amazing and next up on the list is gameicons.net gameicons.net offers thousands of icons that you can use your game for your ui and they have icons related to weapons survival stuff you can use them as your skills traps item icons and so on and one of my personal favorites is kkit and this is someone who does amazing stylized 3d models that i love importing into unreal engine they have a ton of characters with over 50 animations on them, quite a few monsters. They have RTS looking packs, 
and little modular pieces that you can piece together. And on their Patreon, they do come with different characters, which are rigged and have their own animation. And last but not least is ArtStation. And ArtStation has a ton of variety, not just 3D and 2D models, but also some really high quality textures, fabrics, cards, and just a ton and ton of characters, as even anime characters that you can find on their website. And you can even search for your specific game engine that you use to find the correlated assets simply by going to this dropdown or just looking for your game engine like so. And there's quite a large variety of assets that you can use for your game development journey. And that pretty much covers our top 14 places to look for 3D assets, free assets so that you can use in your game development journey. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Let me know if you have any recommendations in the comments below and let me know what you want to see next. Thanks for watching.